holiday destination home? Coast of Maui. Oh, Fort Douglas. Fiji or Aussie. Kai Terry Terry. Probably LA, Vegas. Queenstown would probably be it. I was going to say Plymouth, and that's where I live, but uh, <laughs> yeah, look, I, uh, I really enjoyed um, Spain when I was there. I really like um, Noosa Heads. I'd like to get to Vegas, that could end up my favourite destination. <laughs> get back to riding. <laughs> <laughs> to see racing back again in, in New Zealand. I'll, I've just had a fantastic life and like there's nothing at the top. Top of the bucket list, gee, I suppose I've had time to think about it. Uh, <laughs> well, I haven't been to the Melbourne Cup. I guess the Melbourne Cup's the race everyone wants to win, but yeah, I guess leading trainer at some stage. To achieve something in business long term, but um, we're way, way away from achieving that. I would love to be a successful businesswoman. Maybe 20 New Zealand Cups. Uh, New Zealand Cup would be top of the bucket list. If I could have one thing in life to achieve, that'd be it. I'd like to say someone really good looking, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Without a doubt, Brad Pitt. There's no doubts about that. Brad Pitt. Uh, it'd be easy to say Brad Pitt, wouldn't it? <laughs> Some nutter. Will Smith and Bad Boys. Vin Diesel. Dwayne Johnson. Ryan Reynolds. I'm a massive fan of Scarlett Johansson, so I think it would probably have to be her. Jack Nicholson, a young Jack Nicholson. Michael J. Fox. Without a doubt, 1989, the Japan Cup in front of 148,000 spectators. Probably winning with Sophia Rosa, the uh, AJC Oaks was, was massive. Going to Australia, winning the Group 1 on Championship Weekend, uh, that's pretty memorable. Probably my first Group 1, I mean, it's probably a little bit cliche, but um, I don't know, it was just so much relief and everyone was just so pumped and excited for me. And One actually that I quite liked was, um, I think it was on Galleon's Reach, it was, and just because it was Richard Yule, who obviously I was apprenticed to and had a big connection with him, um, and it was his first Group 1 as an individual trainer. My sort of first memories of Bone, Bone Crusher, Waverly Star. Uh, Burgundy, I uh, loved him, he, was, he uh, was one of the very first horses I ever had an association with in a, in a physical where I was actually dissing out money. Winning my uh, first Group 1 would be most memorable. The 20 seconds leading up to the start of the New Zealand Cup. Winning the Hawke's Bay Cup on Green Street, getting halfway down the straight and starting to salute. Unbelievable.